Welcome back to the 23rd part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework and in this one we're going to be working on the templates a bit more by trying to make our navigation bar a bit more usable for both logged in and non-logged in users. So let's just go ahead and get straight into the base.html which powers this navigation bar and the first thing I want to do is pretty much add links to all these URLs that I've configured uh, to be able to click on the navigation bar instead of having to navigate to the URL uh, directly in the URL bar of the, of the web browser. So to do that I'm going to go to the base.html template which is included on all of those pages and I'm just going to add buttons to this part of the navigation bar. So we've got a register button over here which would be okay for non-logged in users but we don't want uh, that to show for logged in users as you can see I have my profile information so I'm a logged in user. Uh, if we log out, we see a very similar, oh I've gone to the wrong URL, see that's the problem with manually typing in URLs, uh, but if we log out we can see we've got a very similar page, we still have the register button, we haven't got any buttons here. Um, so for logged in users this looks alright, but when we log in of course we need those other buttons to the links to the page that we've created, otherwise our users won't know they exist. So let's do that and, and make the navigation bar dynamic based on whether the user is logged in or not. So let's create those links first. I'm going to look at the bootstrap uh, HTML that we've got at the moment and I'm going to look for this div with the uh, navbar collapse, collapse classes and that's pretty much defining this nav navigation bar at the top. So what I'm going to do is add another list element. These UL, these UL tags are list uh, you can think of them as a group of list objects, so these list elements would be an individual item in the list. So let's go ahead and add just another one of those. So I'm going to do a ul and then I'm going to say I'm going to add a list element and then inside that there's going to be a link and then that link is going to be the page that I want to navigate to. So let's just do account because that's a page that we can go to. That's actually the URL that defines pretty much the user's homepage at the moment. I might change that later because account is really associated with account management tasks rather than the actual homepage for the user. So I might change that to home or something later on if we create another Django app and then include those URLs. But for now, I'll just leave it like that and I'll call it home. And now let's go ahead and look at it in the web browser. Um, but it's, it's a little bit ugly at the moment. So we've got the item here and the link, it works if we click on it, uh, although if you notice we've just logged out so we shouldn't really be able to click on it, but that's a different issue that we can address. Uh, maybe in the next video we'll talk about addressing that, making it dynamic, but uh, to, to fix this issue, uh, this UL element needs to have a class which is pretty similar to the other button here. We've got nav, navbar nav and navbar right. These are all bootstrap CSS classes and I'm going to add uh, two of those three to this element as well. So I'm going to say nav and navbar nav. So just like that. And then I don't want to add navbar right because I want it to be on the left rather than on the right. So if I refresh that, it now looks a lot better. And if you if you notice, it's going to scale with the, with the web browser as well. So that's a really good thing about Bootstrap is that it can scale dynamically based on the size of the browser window. So we've got that, I'm just going to create a few more. So if we look at the URLs just to see what we haven't created yet. So we need log in, log out. Um, I'm just going to create all these buttons I think. So let's do that. So we've got a, another list element. We've got a link on that. And then I'm going to say forward slash account forward slash uh, login. And this is going to be another link for non-logged in users, but for now we're just going to show it across the entire site because we haven't implemented that functionality yet. And I'll call that login. And I'll do the same for the others. So now as you can see I've implemented all those links that I want to add and if we refresh the browser you can see we've got all the links on the top of the navigation bar. So this is quite good and this is a better place than that we were in before when we didn't have the links at all. But we want to make this dynamic based on whether the user is actually logged in or not. So I'm going to do that in the next video.